Okay, so here we've got the uh, RC50 loop station. Um, I'm going to explain a little bit about what it does. I'm just about to get the new RC300, so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial um, just to show you guys uh, who's thinking about just getting one or has just bought theirs and want to see a little bit about how it works. Um, just kind of what I've picked up over the year um, and hopefully make it a little bit easier so you don't have to read through the whole manual because it took me ages to read that. So I'll quickly explain it, make it a lot easier. Okay, so from left to right, we've got the four, the first four pedals are your main controllers. So you've got play, overdub and record. Uh, you've got the stop button, you've got tap tempo, and you've got an undo button. The undo button will clear the last thing that you recorded. Um, on this side, you've got three phases or, or channels. So you've got phase one, phase two, phase three. Uh, when the light is showing up on here, um, it's flashing, it means that you're in control of this phase. Um, and these will operate the one that you're in control of. So if we start on this channel with a beat, and then we'll overdub on top of that, so that's one recorded in. We'll hit this button here and it starts to overdub it. Um, so that's recording on top of that original recording which is made. Hit this button here and it starts to overdub it. Now, um, we don't like that, we're going to undo that, so it keeps your original recording. Uh, you can stop it and start it again, so you've got your play, your stop, you've got your tap tempo, so you can tap it and change the tempo of the, the track, or you can press the tempo button here, and then you can control it by the knob here, to speed it all the way up, or all the way down. We're going to go for 150 something, that's a good tempo total, and then you can just exit that, and that's set in there, so that's your tempo set, on your first channel, phase one, we're then going to move on to phase two, um, where these will then operate this one. So you press this button, this light has come on and it's flashing, so it means you're now in control of phase uh, phase two. So these will operate phase two. We'll add a bass line on there. So we've got the bass line on there. We're going to go into phase three, we'll add some harmonies on there. three main controllers for each of these phases as well, phase one, phase two and phase three. Phase one, one, two and three. So on phase one, the channel here will press this button and it will come up in the menu uh, one shot. And it's currently on loop, so that's the normal standard setting. Um, if we press the parameter button, um, you've got uh, the reverse function as well, so we'll be put, talking about those two. We'll start with the reverse function. Um, so while we're in playback, um, we can change the setting to play that loop in reverse. So we'll change it over and it's now playing a beat backwards. Now notice it hasn't affected the other loops. So it can be used completely independently of the other loops. They're specifically for each of these channels. Um, so we'll set that back to off, okay? Uh, and we'll use the one shot. Now the one shot, you can only change this while there's nothing else playing. So uh, we'll change the it to one shot. So again, that's our second one playing, that's our third one playing. So on our, on our first channel now, this is set to one shot. Basically what this does is instead of playing the entire loop, it just plays up so that as soon as you can start, so like this. So that's pretty cool, so that's the one shot. Um, I don't know what else to say. 
Uh, okay, over here you've got your main input, so you've got your auxiliary lead. Um, you can. Uh, this is the sound that's going into the RC50, so you can run, uh, say, an iPod, or um, you can have just a normal jack lead where you can run a guitar. Uh, I use it for a guitar. You've got a mic one as well, um, where you can just uh, go directly in for a, with an XLR cable. Uh, you, also here you've got the main control volume for your left and right stereo input. Um, and then you've got the main control, which controls the the sound, the volume of the sound leaving the RC50 into whatever source you're using. Uh, here you've got a control pedal um, where you can uh, add in an extension. So you've got control one and two, you've got control three and four, or you've got an expression pedal. Basically, what that means is inside the RC50, you've got the reverse function and you've got the one shot function. Those can only be operated by the buttons, but not by any of these foot pedals. So, uh, Boss make a RC, uh, sorry, a FS6, which is a, a AB switch pedal. You can set that in here and get the RC50 to assign different um, options to the pedal. So, for example, you could have one of those pedals click in and, and setting off the, the reverse function or the one shot function or you can click on those pedals and it drops two of them out and you, so you can play around with it and make it do whatever you want yeah so that's the uh, the Boss RC50 wicked wicked toy definitely um, you're going to have a lot of fun playing with it I've um, got the RC300 um, it should be getting delivered tomorrow um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that click here um, for the link for that, that will be going straight through to the RC300 tutorial where I will have read the whole manual, um, I'll know about the functions, I'll have tried them out and tested them out by then so we'll know a bit more. Um, if you want to check out my music, click here. Um, I've got some tracks online. Um, cool. Enjoy your toys. Cheers.